I'm joined now by Mr. Suleiman El Herbish. He is the Director General of the OPEC Fund for International Development. And um, I'm delighted you've joined us now. It's very busy. You have all your colleagues here. Energy poverty and the really the eradication of energy poverty is what's so important here. When you're at a meeting like this, what can you do to engage with your colleagues and make sure that this is top of the agenda? Well, uh, energy poverty or eradication of energy poverty is the mandate that we received from the third summit of, uh, of OPEC in, in the year 2007, uh, enhanced by King Abdullah Initiative on Energy for the Poor. And uh, we took it as part of our mandate, as I said. And we started a dialogue with, uh, with all uh, energy players. But actually, um, which is more important than talking to people, is that going in, in the ground, doing project implementing project for Africa, Asia, Latin America, etc. We are now increasing, scaling up our involvement in the energy for the poor system. Instead of you know issuing statements or declarations or talking to others, what we are doing is, is project. And this is why we are now part of this very important conference. You know, we joined two years ago in Cancun, and now we are actively participating in this very important gathering. And uh, the message we are going to tell uh, you know the audience here is not that we are making a statement. We are doing project. We are increasing our involvement. We are increasing our uh, commitment for the energy sector. Uh, energy sector and transportation is taking 50% of our commitment. This is the message. Now, you must be encouraged, though, because many of the chief executives here and many of the, the oil ministers and the consumer, the organizations, are also talking about this and putting it on their agenda. Uh, this must be encouraging to you that you're getting the support from. And these are the people who can help. They can help. Yeah. Well, when it comes to our member countries, I think they are helping. In June 14, they committed $1 billion. So I think this is something uh, we are proud of. But uh, we are actually paying more attention to the public, se to the private sector and the oil companies and the energy company companies. In, uh, in Doha last uh, December, we made uh, an appeal, uh, an invitation actually to the oil companies across the globe to come to OFID headquarters in Vienna and share our experience and look for how we're going to increase our financing uh, to the energy uh, projects. We are going to repeat this uh, following the meeting that will take place in Rio, the big conference. Now give us a feel for just how bad the situation is out there. The amount of people without basic energy needs and you know starting out there this is where they, they really can't hope to get on the economic ladder unless the energy needs are taken care of. You know, when I face this kind of question, I remember the, uh, the ethical part of, of the problem, and I think uh, uh, people uh, know very well that uh, some some families in different parts of the world are losing their sons because they are, uh, you know, they go to the forest and they cut trees and they fall on their heads and they crush them and they lose their life. This is one of them, you know. In in Gambia, you know, we we financed the projects just to light. Uh, the, the road from the airport to the city and we received a delegation thanking us for uh, the project not only for the project but also for cutting uh, the, the crime rate in the evening by 50 percent you know this is the side of it this is people most of the people we're dealing with they don't know this uh, sad side of the story of of of, uh, of lacking uh, electricity or modern energy services this is the bottom of the problem now you have said that this is one of the that it was one of the missing millennium goals yes. And you're determined to make sure that it is now at the forefront of all of the work you're doing and making sure people are aware of this. Yeah, I, I think people don't really know the difference between saying that we, yes, that we have to have energy eradication, energy poverty eradication as part of the Millennium Development Goal and saying that you cannot achieve the eight without electricity. The difference is that when, you, when, the, when the global community adopt uh, eradication of energy poverty as a goal by itself, then you'll have to have a plan of action, you have to have commitment for that goal, like we did for HIV AIDS, for example, and it's working. So if you have it as an independent and autonomous uh, uh, development goal, then you will pay more attention to it. This is the point we're trying to make. Unfortunately, people are listening, but, but we are not really uh, uh, getting uh, this uh, uh, goal through. Hopefully in, in, in Rio we are promised that it's going to be taken as sustainable energy for all and it's going to be something that you can never think of development without it.